Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to pass events from a child view to parent. Like it could be some scenarios like for example, some tap, tap events from your uh, cells or row or it could be handling context menu etc. Like how we can handle all the events in one particular place. So that's what we are going to look into. The one approach that we are trying to do here is through closures. Uh, so let's see how it is being done. Before we discuss the code, let's check the app. So it, it's pretty simple app. So I have a list of items here and we have a detail view. And in this detail view, imagine like you have certain actions which is happening uh, like create, duplicate, share, delete. So all these actions we want to uh, handle all of all of them in our list view rather than in your details or uh, yeah so in in such case we can implement this closure approach so you can see like duplicate plus create share you can see all these messages happening here so let's dive into the code so we have this uh, content view uh, basically which populates the list so it will have uh, list one with the detail view and uh, two other items with just the text and in the detail view we have few buttons so one of all one says like duplicate create share and delete in a v stack so that's all we have and the idea is whenever the user presses any of this button we should send the event uh, to the parent which is the content view so how I did here is first of all I defined an action, an enum, where the with the possible actions like delete, duplicate, create, and share. Then I have defined a closure, which is action perform. So on each button action, so I'm calling this action perform closure with the action uh, enum, the type of action which is being performed. So that is what pretty much it is. So whenever a user presses on any of any number of buttons we will just call this closure with the action perform and you can even pass if you want to pass some other values like maybe it could be an id or something else you can do it via this same closure so that's essentially what we are doing here so any of the button press user will this uh, closure will be called and it will be handled by the parent so in the content view which is the parent so we have defined this action performed uh, function here uh, which takes in a project action and you can perform the the needed action in this action perform function so that's what we essentially saw here and in the detail view when we create the detail view we just pass in this function to the detail view and when in the detail view uh, this even any action is made this callback is done and we can do the necessary processing in the parent yeah that's all and it was a quick one and this is how uh, i did uh, the event handling uh, yeah thanks for watching bye bye